myths and legends, things that chill our bones and tickle our curiosity, reality or just something we inherited through history. Are you ready to find out about something new? This story begins in the early 18th century when there were a lot of earthquakes in Croatian region of Međimurje. As people in that time didn't have a scientific knowledge about the mentioned earthquakes, they tried to explain the tremors with the stories of mighty beings. That's when Pozlis were born. Every village in the northwest region of Croatia has its own story about the Pozoi. You're probably wondering what is a Pozoi? Well, they are basically dragons. The stories tell of them being huge reptile-like creatures with a single head, many legs and a tail. It is also said that Pozoi was mostly buried in the ground. Unfortunately, we can't tell you all the stories, but we will bring you the ones that we found most interesting. So, let's dive into the world of Croatian dragons. Our first story will be about the Pozoi from the town Čakovec. It is said that the creature was green, had a single giant head with 67 sharp teeth and many legs. Pozo's head was buried under the church of St. Nicholas and its tail under the old town. It would allegedly rise up every time it was hungry and eat someone, but his favorite food were children. Many knights came to Jakovets, trying to save the town and kill the Pozo, but they all failed due to its hard scale skin. The legend said that a hero would come to town who would possess powers unknown to mankind and that these powers would be given to him by fairies, witches and even demons. In the year 1738, a young nobleman named Matej Čakovečki came back home after finishing his education in Graz. Upon hearing the stories of Pozor, he decided that he was the one who would kill it and free his people. Matija ventured to the center of the town and called the Pozoi, challenging it to a duel. At that moment, wind started blowing and the Pozoi appeared in front of him. Houses were torn down and most of the town was devastated. People fled in fear, but then Matija jumped on Pozoi's back. Pozoi stretched its wings and carried them into the sky. As Matija flew on the Pozi's back, he saw the devastated ground. At that moment, Matija drew his sword in rage and cut off the Pozi's head in one swing. Pozi fell to the ground and surviving villagers surrounded it. It is said that Matija chopped the Pozi to pieces and divided the meat among the people. Many believed that it was the end of the Pozi. But many years later, yet another devastating earthquake destroyed Chakovets. So the legend of Pozoi lives on. The second story is one of the pre-Christian Croatian mythology. In the far past, in a town called Donji Vidovets, there used to be a shrine called Glavatišće. According to legends, that was the location of a big 7-meter statue of the God of Sun. This god was known by three names. Svanimir, Svantevid, or Svevid, and he was the protector of warriors. He was probably named that because of his many heads. Svevid could roughly be translated as all-seeing god, as the word Sve means all, and the word Vid translates to sight. The god Svanimir used to rise in the forest Dubrava that is today known as Donja Dubrava, and it is said that there he used to fight the god of the underworld, Veles. Veles could turn into a Pozoi, but in the end, Svanimir defeated him. There allegedly existed an old bark of an oak tree that contained the written evidence of the Svanimir statue. But with the arrival of Christianity, the evidence was destroyed. Nonetheless, up until the end of the 19th century, people used to dance there on the midsummer night. That could be proof of the ancient existence of the big statue of Svanimir. So, there you have it, Pozoi, a dragon that caused destruction, a hero and ancient gods. 
myth or reality? It is up to you to decide. And be cautious when you feel the earth trembling. It just might be a pozoi waiting to eat his next victim. Hey guys, thank you for listening. So we are coming to the end of the year and we will be making just one more video and that's it for the 2019. So uh, this has once again been one of Croatia's myths and legends. My name is Jelena Hrvoj. And I'm Daniel Hike. And if you like books based on mythology, check out the links in the description below. I'm sure you will like what you will see. So that's about it for now and bye. Bye.